in the tradition of orators of soapboxes, people who get on their soapbox, I figure it's time. TEDx OU, Norman, Oklahoma, I'm taking a stand for sport and play. I've had enough. I can share the wisdom of wonderful thought leaders like Plato. He shares this wonderful insight. You can discover more about a person in one hour of play than in a year of conversation. I can offer you scientific insights from noteworthy people, the National Institute for Play. 15,000 play histories have been collected by them. Nobel laureates and MacArthur Genius Grant recipients were actually interviewed by two professors from Michigan State University. They identified from these interviews that they have something in common. Most of their breakthroughs came from a catalyst of an avocation or hobby and not the work in a lab, an office, or a cube. One of the other things that I started to understand is that the National Institute for Play, the MacArthur Genius Grant recipients, and the whole idea of Friedrich Froebel, you might know that name because he invented kindergarten, but he also created the Froebel Gifts. The Froebel Gifts is a series of gifts that are supposed to be given to children in a very particular order. But the first gift that every child should receive, says Friedrich Froebel, a ball. Now I can absolutely provide you with a plethora of game-changing global organizations that have made a difference. Beyond Sport, Right to Play, the Homeless World Cup, and even the Nike N7 Foundation and Playworks. I can highlight human catalysts who have made a difference using sports and play and believe that sports can be transformative. Mandiba, Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu took the 1995 Rugby World Cup and used it to transform the lives of their nation, South Africa. Now, I'm not foolish to think, nor naive to think, that this whole notion of a ball changing the world is a panacea. It will not solve every social ill. But I have witnessed it being used in a positive manner to address big issues, health issues, gender issues, social inclusion issues, gender issues education, and it has been effective. So I've had enough. I think that James Simpson had the right idea. If we want to talk about play, if we want to talk about games, we need to get social. So we're going to go out and play. We're going to go out and play and have a play break. This is my big idea. Why doesn't every TED have a programmed play break with purpose? Why doesn't it bring everyone together to have an unexpected but shared experience. So we're gonna have a play break. We're gonna actually beta test this idea right here, right now. But now I know there's some skeptics out there. Haters are my motivators. <laughs> so, I need you all to indulge me just a little bit. Would you raise your right hands, please? Wonderful, you can put them down. You all just agreed to take an adult resignation. <clears throat> I'm hereby officially tendering my resignation as an adult. Just for a little while, I'd like the responsibilities of an eight, nine, or 10-year-old again. I want to believe that anything is possible again. Look, I want to believe that M&Ms are better than money because, well, you can eat them. <laughs> I want to believe in the power of smiles, kind words, truth, justice, peace, dreams, the imagination of mankind, and making angels in the snow. So here's my checkbook, my car keys, my credit card bills, my 401k statements. You can have it all, because if you want to discuss this further with me, you need to come on outside because Foursquare is on. You will see on your badges, stars. The stars will have specific colors. Orange has been replaced with gold. You're a one, a two, a three, or a four. We got two courts outside. You were worried I was gonna throw those at you, weren't you? We got two courts outside. You can follow those young ladies out there. I'm here to tell you that anything is possible. We're going to do a social experiment, beta test it right here in Norman, Oklahoma. We're going to show the rest of TED, business conferences, business settings, that play has great purpose. Game on. Enjoy. I'm 
projecting from here. <laughs> you went outside. You got some air. But more importantly, the conversations that occurred while staying in a queue, that's the magic of play. It's not just the games, it's all the social experiences and the shared experiences that come from that. If you happen to have a ball in your hands, that's yours to keep. Ugh, I know, right? You can hear that? Look, look, look. So, please, I know the break is getting ready to end, so if you need to get coffee, a drink, water, bio, whatever it might be, thank you so much for participating. James Simpson, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs>